So we are, we are all exhausted. You, you told us that, and that is very true. Um, in whatever form or fashion, whatever um, our role is, leading at home, leading at work, um, everybody's exhausted. So, so leave us with some tips, Jim. Will you tell us? Give us, give us some things that Jim says. This is we need to do this. We need to slow down, and we need to do this. What would that be? Well, I start with what you tell me to do. <laughs> you know, we got to find balance. You got to find it. You got to make the time. You got to break away and be in the moment or be present mm. in other, mm. you know, other mm. parts of the life. And mm. so, That's good. you know, for me, it's been, um, my kids are in college. I have a, mm. a daughter and I'm going to be a senior uh, in college. And I got a son who's just graduated and will be going off to, to play football and do mm. in engineering in college. So spending some time with them, you know, we've all had that opportunity and wanted to take advantage of that. And, um, um, and then, you know, we were working seven days a week, so now less so. So when I have the weekend time, I, uh, enjoy the lake. So mm -hmm. getting out on the lake for me has been therapeutic. So taking advantage when I can on the weekends, because the weeks mm -hmm. are during the week, it's very intense. And then what I'm trying to do more of, because I'm not getting enough steps in, you know, just sitting mm -hmm. in these meetings all day long is exercise. Mm -hmm. It's walking, jogging, um, I actually have been able to actually have a night each week where I joined a nine hole golf league. And mm -hmm. I haven't always been there because meetings might get in the way, mm -hmm. but we've, at least I've been getting out, you know, it's probably mm -hmm. twice a month, maybe. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's, uh, yeah, balance, exercise, mm -hmm. and then music. I, I, you know, I didn't, I don't think I've ever mentioned this to you, but I kind of through this year, this, this year so far, I've, I'd leverage music more. I mean, it's mm. calming for me at the end of the day, before I go to sleep, I got to get some things out of my brain. Mm -hmm. so I literally go sit on the patio, look up the stars, listen to music mm. and calm down. Mm. And it's, for me, it's uh, lowers my stress. It's mm -hmm. uplifting, can be inspirational. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think differently. I think it helps me be mm. more creative. Mm. So for me that, and when I'm walking, listen to music, it's, it's mm. helping a lot. And then, mm. um, the biggest thing for me, and you hear it all the time when I talk <laughs> with you, is just being able to vent because mm. the tension builds up and mm. having um, mm. colleagues that you can trust and yeah. and um, my wife, I, she hears too much of it, but <laughs> you know, when I get a chance to talk to you, you hear some of it and you can coach me, but um, that's super, super therapeutic for me. Mm. Great words, great words. and. We need that, so thank you. Thank you for communicating to us some things that we need to do. And so, so leaders, as you listen to this, I wanna ask you a couple of questions. So are you aware that you've gotta create balance? No one else will do that for you. You have to figure out how do you focus on the things that you can control and work so hard to try to create that balance. And so, are you doing that? Are you, are you aware of that? And then are you taking care of yourself? Thank you, Jim. Are we exercising? Jim has found that music helps him to, to relax. It inspires him. So what are those things that you're finding to be able to do so that you can get some relief? So exercising might be it, listening to music. And then that last one I think is so important. Are you finding those safe, colleagues and people that you can vent to, that you can just talk to and communicate what you're thinking and how you're feeling and doing that in such a manner that you don't have to worry about um, the circumstance or, or worry about the things that you say, that you could just kind of open that valve just a little bit, release some so that you can close the valve and you can get refocused back in what you need to, to do and how you need to lead. So important key, I believe, to, to your leadership. So Jim, you have challenged us in such a way today that we need to take some action in those areas because we do know that we are all exhausted and we've got to, to be aware so we can do some things to, to be able to help ourselves in that area. So thank you so much. Thank you for your authenticity. 
thank you for just being real about what you've been through and, and how you have led through that. We sure do appreciate you. So guys, take these challenges, go and do something with it, dig in and make this an opportunity to change. Thank you so much. We'll see you next month in digging in.